Good morning, guys, on Frequented World. Early start this morning. Uh, I'm going to meet Stan out in uh, Chisholm at the 1880s uh, farmland that we did a few videos back. He was here yesterday, right on the river system, and got three large scents, a bunch of old uh, relics and whatnot, and he's coming back today. So we've got two sites here we can check. Let's get at it and see what we can find. Grass is much higher than last time, but I feel like the bottom of my car is going to be cleaned anyway. I love this spot, it's so beautiful. So this is the site of the second homestead that we found. It was on an old map from the 1920s, I believe it was. And we haven't detected over here at all. So I'm going to swing around here for an hour before Stan gets here. So as you can see, the grass is much longer than the last time we were here. A little harder to get the signals, but that's okay. We just turn up the sensitivity on the machine up to 23 and we're good to go. Look at that beautiful morning on the river. I've actually come through the bush out of the field and I'm just looking for where they would have had a spot to come down to the river. And right in here I think is where the house site was and I'm just walking along and I saw this on the ground so some old glass fancy glass so that's a good sign so I'm just down from the truck and there's some old machinery in here I don't know what this is Heavy iron. You can see another piece back here. So you can see the truck over there. I've only had two signals all the way up to here. And that's an old lead shot. It's uh, got the white patina on it. But uh, not a lot of signals here. I may have to move to the other site. Yeah, that's right, you stinky bugger. You can run behind. So this is the site here that Stan was at yesterday and uh, where we pulled some coins in the last video. So we'll, we'll swing around here. Well, a lot more signals over here, but so far they're not any better. Winchester Arms, probably a 30-30 shell. Well, that'll give you a good solid 35 coin signal when it's down there 9 inches. Hey, Stan was right. Third hole. Look at that. That looks like a coin to me, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's clean that up. Hey, early Gary gets the coin. Ha, Stan, I told you. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Gotta be there before nine o'clock. Canada Large Sand, 1907. Ah, fantastic start to the day. I'll take that any day. Stan told me he, ha he had to cultivate grapes this morning. And I didn't think he actually meant grapes, but <laughs> he meant grapes. <laughs> And watermelons for lunch. <laughs> nice. We go with the apples. We're having an organic day, Gary. Okay. <laughs> so they found this uh, bean pot yesterday and a whole old, bunch of other goodies. Uh, I'm not touching that. It's too easy. Old hoe. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, an old hoe. Here's some fancy horse tack, some kind. It's copper. Nice. More, lots of harmonica reeds. Any buckles in there? Uh, uh, Lots of harmonic reeds and just one buckle. Sean got a couple buckles. Yeah, cool. But uh, yeah, this fancy horse stack was silver plated. Let's get down to the water there. I found some silver plated stuff last time I was here too, I think, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. And there's the three largies he got 1892, 1919, and 1917. And this lovely lock. 
Oh, wow. look at that. Paint on there and everything. Well, I think that's another part of a harmonica reed. Big old piece of horse tack. Well, something to do with farming. Maybe some kind of early strap uh, system. You're going to strap through the back of this thing here? I don't know. So yesterday, Stan and Sean found seven harmonica reeds, and I've found three today. So ten harmonica reeds. How many guys would have to be here in this field to lose ten harmonicas? So definitely some kind of logging camp turned into a farm, turned into something else. I don't know, but there was lots of activity here. So Stan's working up there behind me, and I just got another largie, I think. Right there, looks like a coin to me. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, look at that, 1916. Another one that looks like it's gonna clean up, fantastic. I'll show you all these at the end of the video when I get them home and clean them up. I'm hoping to have a dozen. So we're definitely going to have to come back here in the spring because we are swinging six inches off the ground. Some places are much thicker than others, but we're definitely not getting right down to the ground. So we could be missing lots of stuff here. Good spot though. So Stan's working it hard on the relics here. Oh wait, and wait, there's one more. A strange round piece of lead. Looks like it might have a design on it. Okay, we'll have to clean that up. I got a brush. Um, and this one here, he tells me that John and I were wrong. That is not a butt plug, that is a barrel tap, for all of you that wanted to know. <laughs> Got an old button here that says Peabody's Walkerville underneath it. So that'll give us something to look up anyway. I don't know how old that would be, but... It was deep. It's got to be old. I was just swinging around Stan's feet, and the detector went crazy. He said, yeah, you found a relic. I found a relic. <laughs> right here. I'm going to bet large scent. And I'd be wrong. It's an old heavy brass buckle. Silver plated too. So last time I was here in this field I pulled a couple silver pieces of horse tack as well. Now I've got another silver uh, plated buckle. And all these large scents make me wonder what was this place? I don't think it was just your logging camp, which started out for sure because we found five or six axe heads now. Then a farm, but was there something else? Was this a meeting place for horse riding, horse jumping, um, maybe an old fair place? I don't know. There's more to this place than meets the eye. So it's a brass buckle, but lots of silver wash still on there. Oh, look at my poor Equinox. I don't know what all that orange crud is. Some kind of pollen or something coming out of the field here. I don't know. I'm going to have to take it down to the river and wash it after. Got a real strange one here. It was like seven. And I was singing a little song and everything. Tin foil, but you never know till you dig it. So, and it's not a tin foil, it's a coin. Weird. Oh, uh, yeah, singing to yourself as your metal detecting is kind of weird too, but <laughs> meh. I'm my only entertainment out here, so I don't know, is this a modern coin dropped by a farmer? Kind of looks, yeah, it looks rusty, maybe. There's a solid seven. Let's clean this up. Mystery solved. 2006 modern Canada quarter. Must be the farmer's drop from when he hazed the field. All right, so this is an old knife. You can see the brass part that goes against the handle. And then this is a uh, blade and whatever. It's heavy, really heavy. This is what a bad dog looks like. You're digging up all my holes that I already refilled. 
Get over here. No more of that. I'm gonna leave you at home. Hey, get over here. You're not done your time out. Look at that. The apple tree has bloomed. Looks like a nice apple. I think I'm gonna eat that. Yeah, yeah. Bitter and sour. Mmm. No, you can't have that. <laughs> Freaking dog wants, wants everything. And whatever he sees us eating, he learned how to pick his own blueberries, raspberries. No, don't eat crab apples. Because I'm not cleaning up after you. Stan tree. says, why <laughs> Why are you eating the little ones off of that tree? Look at the size of the ones on this tree. He said they're sweeter too. Oh yeah, look at the bunches of them hanging here. I didn't bring you home. The kids brought you home. You're not my dog. You know that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, fine. I won't tease you. This is it. I'm not giving you half my sandwich today. So Stan was digging to China here, and he eventually got there. And this is the weirdest thing. A big old chunk of iron, but he was getting a high signal. And right in the center of this thing is a rimfire cartridge, a 3855. That's a big old deer gun from, you know, early 1920s. What would that be doing in the center of this chunk of iron? And it's been fired. Strange. If anybody knows if anybody what that is, knows. comments down below, guys. We we are baffled with that. Well, it's a little coin. Does that mean it's a, another farmer drop? Let's clean it up. Look at that, 1918 American. I'll take that. The old wee penny. Okay, so Stan has a second musket ball for the day. The first one we weren't sure of, it was kind of smushed. This one here is poured, and you can see the the end of it there, where it gets poured. I think that's called a sprule. If not, we'll just edit that out. <laughs> but that is an unfired, handcrafted musket ball. Well, you know what that means, guys. He's washing off the machine. Come on, dog, get out of there. And I guess we're not done because Stan's coming over the hill yelling, I've got something special. So there you go, one more item. I don't know, he's hooting and hollering and oh yeah. It's round, it's round, buddy. Round and bigger than a largey, he says. You're gonna have to say that all again because we the phone isn't gonna pick it up. <laughs> I don't care. You do the reveal, buddy. Wow, look at the size Bigger of that. Bigger than a largey, thinner than a largey. Might be a token or a, an old British coin. All right, let's clean this up. No. So I could just barely see a date oh, on the bottom. I can see barely see numbers at the bottom. 1880 something is what I thought it was, but we don't know what kind of coin it is. And I could be wrong on the 1880. Could have been 1830 something. I don't know. It's really, really worn. We'll show you guys both sides here in a second. I can see some script around the edges. And there was a crown on one side. I'm pretty sure on the on the reverse of that. Right up it's got to be there's, British. There's, there's writing. So for comparison's sake, here's a large uh, scent right here, and here's the unknown. I'll give you guys a close-up of the unknown. So right at the top, there's an L and a G. I don't know what you guys can see. The sun is shining right on the phone here. I hope it's in focus. It's it's really rough. And then on this side, I don't even know where the date was now because I can't. Okay, right at the very bottom there is the date somewhere. 
18 something. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank, thanks for coming out, Stan. <laughs> okay, so that's it. This time I mean it. <laughs> He's happy. I'm happy. We had a great day. Thanks for joining us, guys.